This is a real thick callus here. How old is this one? I was here on the 19th of April. April, right? About two months. Grew fast this time. Yeah. And this must be painful. Yes, yeah, it's painful. Yeah. And I put a, well, a little thing around it to keep from it hurting so bad. Uh -huh. What do you what do you put on like a pad? The little sock like. Oh really? The little thing you put around there. Looks like you put a lot of miles on since I saw you. No, I haven't. You haven't? Mm -mm. You didn't go dancing? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this is a dancing callus. Looks like you danced and you pivoted, you were rotating. No, like I like didn't. a like a waltz, you None know. None of that on it. None of that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Your foot tells a story. You see. Usually, when you pivot a lot, there's a little blood underneath this callus too. That's what makes it even more tender. Um, it seems like I need to have something in the middle of it. Yeah, if they're deep seated corn, I have to burn it. Then then it won't come back. So let me let me take a look after I go down a little bit deeper. Then I'll be able to tell what's underneath it. Right now I'm just cleaning it out. These dark spots are, are like blood. Questions. Um, callus is from the pressure, but when you have a blood one like this, usually it's from twisting motion. So when we walk, we're twisting our toes, mm -hmm. pivoting, and then that's what causes bleeding, and then causes that dark spot there. And this is really thick, so we need to very carefully get down to it. And then we'll see if she has a, like a deep-seated corn inside. So you haven't done anything unusual? No. Mm -hmm. That one's a little sensitive, huh? But it grew so fast. I haven't seen this grow this fast. I thought you went out and partied. Sometime I removed the little cap I have on it and no way at it. So maybe that's why it grew so fast. What did you put? The little cap I put on it. Sometime oh. I lose it. Oh. I don't wear it. Like a cap? Yeah. For the callus? Yeah. Oh. Is that, is that like a foam thing? Yeah, that little, that little, what did I do with it? I had it on. I didn't see it. Yeah, it must be down there in my shoe. Mm -hmm. Because I had it on my toe. I'm trying to keep it where I can, try not to lose it. Yeah. This is the one I had the surgery on. Oh, it's from the scar. Yeah, I had the surgery on this time. Oh. When was that? A while back, huh? 13, 2013. Oh, 2013? You had a little bone underneath it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, now I remember removing that. It could be like scar tissue here. Scar tissue can bring out the, the callus on this case. But I've never seen it this like thick like this though. Usually it's not this thick. Yeah, the last time you did it wasn't that thick. Yeah. So I was wondering if you did something to it. I mean, it does get a little callous, but not like this. This could have come from the shoes I'm wearing. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of shoes? Did you change your shoes? I changed shoes twice. Oh, really? And then none of them doing no good for me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. So I went back to these and... Went back to the old ones? Yeah, it seemed like those are more comfortable. Yeah. Well, something happened. If it didn't do um, more than usual, then it could be like, like you said, it could be your shoes. Sure 
something soft to not put too much pressure there. But there's some deep spots in there. You see a couple of spots in there, that. So something like this, I would use some medication to burn up that deep-seeded corn. That usually helps quite a bit. So I'll do that. That's better, huh? Seems like it's too flat. Mm -hmm. What's too flat? Seems like it, my, my toe sticks up and make it too flat in the middle. Yeah, right here, huh? It's kind of make yeah, it prominent. Too flat. Yeah. Yeah, you you had a uh, extra bone underneath here mm -hmm. that we removed, and part of that is a scar tissue from from the surgery, which can cause this because you don't have a lot of padding in here, so it becomes kind of irritated, and then your callus forms to protect your toe. Your body's trying to help you, but it does a little too much sometimes, and so that's what you have. Okay. Gonna okay. go. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You have I to go two days a week. Oh, two days a week? Mm -hmm. I just got started. So this will be my second time going tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of medicine on it. So, since the corn is really deep, what we do is we put a little medicine right there to burn the cone. So, we put very little, not too much, because it's really strong stuff. And then I put a duct tape on it to protect the area and also not allow that to. Is that tender? Sure. Yeah, it, it's raw. So I put a little duct tape there and I instruct patients to put new ones on every day after shower. But keep this dry tonight though. Keep oh, it dry okay. tonight so that it doesn't get the water in. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of weeks and we we'll, may have to do this again, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs>